known in the gaming and cosplay industry as um, Fallen Hero 6. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the raft on a 3D print. So a raft is um, the part of the print that um, allows it to be printed in multiple dimension parts when it's actually printing. So it's just like the area where, you know, you gotta pull it off essentially, you know? So the easiest way to do this, some people like to use um, like uh, acetones and things like that, or, or bathe it in it really fast and it'll loosen it up. Um, when I do this, I actually like to just take a surgical scalpel with a hook blade and as you can see on camera, I like to just go right around the area and just kind of cut the excess away from it. You know, just a quick, you know, And what I do is I do this first and I just stick it in there and it starts to peel it apart a little bit. And then I will take a razor knife, second, and then outline it and it should come right apart. And you know, let's hope it does this while all you guys are watching. <laughs> I remember the first time I ever um, did this uh, without knowing anything about it. It, it took me forever to get it apart without breaking them. I ended up having to print a bunch of parts, just backup parts every time I printed something for somebody because I was afraid that it was going to break. So even today for the camera, I brought an extra one over here so that I could do that. You know, it's also very important to, you know, be safe when you're doing this and not like itch your face the way that I just did. So do what I do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> all right, so I get all the way around it like that. And then I take a, a these are a lot stronger than a, a blade like that. And then as you can see on the camera, there's a defined line now around the whole entire print where the raft has to come off. And then I don't like to start right where there's um, detailed parts because you may break it. It's happened, you know? But you just stick it in like this and you can hear it. You can hear the plastic starting to separate. And then you move on to the next section. And when you put it in, you're just gonna wanna twist it just a little bit and you're gonna see it starting to fall apart. Yeah, there we go. It's been so long since I've done one of these. This is actually a Star Wars thermal detonator um, prop. Um, you can actually buy these um, either in a kit or uh, fully done right on my Etsy. And then see, that's how easy it was to take that raft off once you do that. And then the inside of it, um, you know, I like to keep that on the inside as much as possible because it makes it more solid. You can pull this raft out if you want to. Typically how I do that is I just take a screwdriver, like a flathead screwdriver, and stick it in there and start peeling it around it on the inside and it'll usually just pop right off. So, and you don't ever want to do it that way. Like, see, it came off smooth, but it breaks away. It didn't come off in a solid ring, right? So you want to kind of repeat the same process again. It's a little tedious, but it's worth it at the end of the day, you know? So you're just going to want to basically do the same thing again, stick, stick the scalpel into it and just kind of peel it just a little bit. You're not going to want to twist that blade because if you do, it will break. And you, you know, you don't want to do that. And then when you're using the razor knife, you just want to bring it just enough to where there's a little bit of the blade sticking out. You don't need the blade to be three inches long in order to do this. So.
and then you're gonna peel it apart, just like that. Because I started breaking it apart without the, the rest of it, it's why it didn't stay together, like this one. So it's very, very, very important that you um, do it that way. And then the raft on the inside is very hard to get out um, without something hard to, sh to stick in there. But we shouldn't technically have to, to do anything with that, to be completely honest. Now, smaller parts like this, you're not going to be able to really penetrate it with a scalpel, so don't even try. You know, you'll stab yourself right in the finger or in the hand, and it won't be good. Um, so you're going to want to hold, hold the part like this on both sides, and you're going to see that there's a very clear area that the part is at, and you're going to want to just kind of loosen those the grip up on it like that, and then you're going to want to hold it on its side and just kind of start on one side and do this and pull it apart. Now, things like this, like this particular button for the thermal detonator, it, it's very, um, when it prints, it's very uh, sealed to it, so it's not like as easy to pull apart like a raft on that, but if you do it, like I said, you should be able to pull it right apart, just like this. So now you have the button for it. Um, anybody who's been 3D printing for long enough knows that you're not going to get a part that is going to be absolutely perfect every time. So what I like to do is there's a square peg here, obviously, and a square hole to stick it in. You can take your X-Acto knife or your razor knife and you can cut across this on a little bit of an angle. Um, and if you do that, right, just like this, just lightly shave it, not... Don't, don't cut yourself doing it. You know, obviously you're just wanting to create a little bit of a rounded edge. And when you do that, it'll make it a little easier for you to, um, to put it in. And then be careful when you, when you put this in there, it's not going to be easy to take back out. So you're just going to put, apply pressure to it. You know, uh, 3d prints are not as fragile as some people would claim, but once you're in there like that, you just pop it in just like this, and then it's ready to go. So I hope this um, little bit of a tutorial about how to take the wraps off of a 3D print helped you guys today. And stay tuned in my channel, like, subscribe, and share, and see you till next time.